Hello. Okay. Um, sorry for the delay in getting videos out to you. As you're aware, I lost Buster and it just sort of fucked my week up, to be honest. But I did promise a video about this study. Now, the guy you want to contact about this, and I'll put his email in the notes if I can find it, is a guy called Alex. Oh, oh God, who's got a really bad last name. Colilari, Colilari Turner. And he's at Brighton Unit. But I'll put his email in the address. Now, what the study is looking for is people living in England or the United Kingdoms, I believe. Uh, and they're looking at the effects of steroids on muscle gene expression, epigenetic markers and the influence of enhanced muscle memory in humans. So, what they're looking for is people who have been exposed to steroids for a minimum of 20 weeks, are current users but are currently off cycle or previous users that have used steroids two to four years ago for at least a period of 20 weeks and who are now steroid three. Now this is what's behind the study. Steroids activate stem cells in the muscle which create satellite cells, they donate the nuclei into muscle fiber, this is then responsible for an enhanced rate of protein synthesis and hydrophy of the muscle. Now in my studies demonstrated that when uh, mice stopped treatment or stopped physical activity and muscles atrophy the extra nuclei remained for quite a sustained period of time and I believe it was 10% of their net life um, so they're looking I eat muscle memory and that is why excuse me when we start to return, we respond much quicker and go back to um, original sizes a lot easier than initially forming that muscle because we have these extra nuclei in muscle fiber. So this is to see how long do the steroid use give the user an increased level of nuclei in muscle fiber and how long does it last post usage. Um, that is basically what it's about. It's to see how much of a long-term advantage steroids give an athlete. Now it is sponsored by WADA and don't start jumping all up and down and going, oh for fuck's sake, you know, oh it's going to fuck people up. This is aimed at athletes, top end athletes, and I'm sorry but I have no, you know, if you compete in a tested organization or a tested event as far as I'm concerned you should be drug free. I do agree that there should be a drug user version of the Olympics, been through this a few times, but at present there isn't. So this will have an impact on I would suspect lengths of ban post discovery of steroid use within sports. The other thing it may also have an impact on is rulings regarding transgender. Now I'm not going to get into that conversation here and now, but it might be a good one for another day actually. Uh, but currently rules state that three years of treatment allows a male to compete as a female. This study would show whether that was adequate time and for how long would uh, someone who developed in a testosterone environment have an advantage a ge genetic advantage due to changes and differences in muscle fiber elements um, over a natural born female and how long potentially would the lack of male hormone being present be required to allow uh, extra muscle fibers to be reduced down to what would be the equivalent of a female so this is touching on the edge of that sort of stuff but it's a um, I think a very useful study and it needs people to get involved we're going to learn a lot in this about um, how stories affects uh, the muscle and genetics and how it affects RNA expression uh, and possibly further more indications will come out of this about long-term effects of steroid use on the human body 
so it's definitely worth getting involved with if you can um, I definitely have offered myself but unfortunately they want they don't think they can take me because I am over the oh there's an age limit yes I forgot about that and it's not there but I know there is I see between 20 and 35 and because I'm an old cunt I can't be in it but also I'm TRT so I can't be in it uh, which is a shame because I would have liked to have known what differences were in the nuclei in my muscle fibre post the huge amount that I've used and the size that I've carried and if they are still active now because I hold size still relatively easy my training is piss poor and my strength has dropped dramatically dramatically yeah that, would, yeah, that word uh, but not my size in the same way so it would do excuse me it would definitely be interesting uh, to find out for myself but I don't think that's going to be possible unfortunately so um, this is what they're hoping to do is have a look and see how previous use affects muscle fibers and muscle memory and the ability to sustain or maintain or increase muscle mass post usage okay so I will put the email in the comments so you guys well in the description so you guys can get hold of this fella if you're interested in doing this thing uh, sampling is going to take place at the University of Bright Brighton Eastbourne campus and reasonable travel expenses will be covered sampling dates are 16th and 17th of March 13th and 14th on 15th of April uh, it's gonna be you're gonna be there for four hours um, but yeah really interesting stuff on other notes I've moved gyms and I'm no longer training with my old training partner um, where we used to train was a commercial gym it was in the center of town he's 30 minutes one side of it I'm 30 minutes the other side of it so it worked um, he's now built a gym at home filled it with Watson's kit the git uh, and he's an hour from me so it's impractical for me to travel to his much I would like to so I'm now going to a gym that's five minutes around the road uh, hasn't been open that long actually uh, I think it opened summer of last year uh, July last year uh, it's called Origins small place but well specced well kitted uh, and I'm looking to I'm actually you know what I'm actually looking forward to training on my own and I know that sounds terrible but uh, I'm actually just looking forward to hold up bought some new headphones and just getting on with it for a while um, because motivation has not been the best uh, the other thing is I can get there, train and get home and be home, done, showered and back in my office for half past eight in the morning, which works a lot, lot better for me. It really does, because some days, by the time I got back and showered and, and called someone on the way back and all sorts of bollocks, it was half ten, eleven o'clock before I was actually starting work. I mean, it's now half past six at night and I've been down here since nine this morning um, and I haven't left, apart from to have a piss. Uh, so my wife's brought my food down and I just stopped here and worked which is pretty much what Mondays and Tuesdays are really like but yeah so looking forward to the new environment um, just getting head down and, and just getting some decent training really to be honest um, apart from that same shit different day really not much to report uh, I'm going to look through um, the request video we did a few videos ago and see what you guys were asking to talk about and I'll put something together and get some more detailed videos up this week I've got a bit of time this week it looks like it at the moment so I'm on the road Wednesday evening and all day Thursday where I'm pretty much office based all day tomorrow I've had my trip to Leeds at one point and all day Friday so that should give me time to get some decent content up this week at long last day fucking hell content's been shit okay so that's it from me and i'll catch up with you guys soon